I had this man one time that was in my church, and he had a son that he was concerned about, an adult son, and the son just had a big failure, and in my office I said, I'm so sorry, and he said, oh no, he said, this is good. And we talked more, and I said, how can a failure be good? And he said, well, my son hasn't failed enough to be the great success that he will be. Do you know that was over 20 years ago, and I think back on that because that son is a huge success today. He got to the point where he failed enough, but more important than that, he learned from his failures. He used them as launching pads to go where he wanted to go. Some of the greatest inventions came about only after years of failed experiments. For scientists and inventors, those failed attempts were learning experiences that helped them in their final discoveries. Seeming failures can be learning experiences for us, too. When in search of our own discoveries, we remember that failures can bring us closer to success, for they narrow, th narrow the chances of the mistakes before the perfect answer presents itself, before we absolutely know that this is the way. In 1 John 2, verse 8, it says, The darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. I love that. I said one time in a church during the beginning of the Great Recession, it was in Pennsylvania, and almost everyone that I was talking to had either lost their job or was in a chance of losing their job. And I said that we are in the tunnel now, but we can see now light at the end of the tunnel. Well, many people laughed thinking that was Mr. Positivity, <laughs> you know, making the best of a horrible situation, but it's true. If you can see light at the end of your tunnel, you have hope. And you can keep on walking. It's only when we're immersed in darkness and we don't know which way to turn, which way to go. Well, for those people that were there that day, that was true. And if we are in any tunnels of our own life, well, may there be light at the end of the tunnel. And may we keep walking. That's the whole thing. If, if you're in hell, don't stay there. Keep walking. Let every failure that you have in life be a learning experience. And keep walking. Remember that failures always bring you closer to success. On our spiritual journey... We're making many discoveries. The main discoveries that we make are about ourselves. Who we are, what we're capable of doing, and being. And if we're really making the discovery, we learn that what we're capable of doing and being through the power of God. And if we've made errors in judgment, and who hasn't? or blunders in past actions, and who hasn't? Well, we now see them as learning experiences, and we build on them. And we are on our way. We're keeping our walk and our stride, and we're going towards the light of God. We're moving forward on a spiritual journey of great discovery. And the best of your life is ahead of you, not behind you. May God bless your whole life. Amen.